Hello everybody, welcome, and welcome back. Today we're going to be playing on the best of one standard ranked ladder with our Obzon Rotodrobrick list. So this list just got one update from the newest set, and that's going to be Thalia and the Get Rod Monster, which is one of the cards that I was the most excited for. So for one generic, one white, one black, and a green, you get a 4-4 legendary human frog horror which is just a banger of a creature type already. <laughs> it has first strike and death touch, amazing. You can play an additional land on each of your turns, like the Gitrog monster, which is cool. And creatures and non-basic lands your opponents control into the battlefield tapped, like Thalia Heretic Cathar. And whenever it attacks, you can sacrifice a creature or land and draw a card. This card's insane, it does it all. <laughs> So it gives us another sacrifice outlet for a Rata Draw Brick. We can get rid of our legendary creatures, make the tokens. Um, yeah, it's a pretty self-explanatory list. We have Rata Draw Brick of Urborg and a bunch of legendary creatures. We play them, we kill them, we keep killing the opponents with them. It, it's a really fun deck and it hangs on very well because of things like the Malira and the King Darien being able to protect your creatures and creature tokens. Uh, Nemeta Prim Primeval Warden is in here just because I like the card. You can honestly cut it for another Malira if you want the deck to be a bit more competitive. But other than that, yeah, it's a really cool list and I have a, fun, a ton of fun playing it. If you guys are excited to see it in action, make sure to drop a like, leave a comment, and make sure you're subscribed if you aren't already, as I'd really appreciate that. With all that said, let's hop onto the ladder and see how it does. Alrighty, game one. Uh, this hand is really slow, but we are going first, so I guess we'll keep. We'll see if we can draw a two drop next turn. Let's play the Wastes and say go. An Armored Scrap Gorger from the opponent and attacking in for two. Let's get our Adeline down and we'll say go. Tribute to the World Tree from opponent. That's cool. Okay, so big choice here. Either Mondrak or Radadrobrik, I think, are the two, I mean, like, good choices. But I think Mondrak is the better. And we'll attack for six. And we'll pass. Opponent's gonna play a bloated contaminator and draw. And a tail swipe. That's rough. I think we just attack with the Adeline here. Let's see if they block with the Contaminator. So they are wanting to trade. No. And we'll pass. Doomscar Warrior from the opponent. That's pretty cool. So it turns it into a 5-5. Five, five. We'll trade the Adeline for it. I don't want to let him get any card draws. Alright, those are going to trade. And another land.
Well, that's minus. We'll make a samurai. And we'll play Ao. No attacks. And we'll pass. The opponents go into combat. And in with the warrior. So we block with the AO here. They probably have some sort of pump spell, so they can you know, get a look regardless, I think. But triggering the AO does seem nice here. Yep, Tyvar's stand is going to get it through for a point. Let's look at the top seven. Jeez, we just hit everything there. So we can get Thalia and then get Rog. Or we get Rod of Drawbrick and just start popping off with multiple Rod of Drawbricks. It would be really nice to get the new Thalia, but I think Rod of Drawbrick is going to be better here. Eh, whatever. Let's get Thalia. And a second tribute to the world tree. Okay. Let's put a plus one counter. Actually, we could just minus on their warrior, which seems really good, and save our removal spells. Yeah, let's minus two. stand. Exiling the AO. Let's go for the throat in response. We'll play the Thalia and attack with everybody. We'll sack off one of these humans and draw. And we pass. And their creatures enter tapped. Yep. So they put a bunch of counters on it and draw. GG's. Alrighty, game two. We're going first. We have good creatures, but our curve like starts at turn four, which kind of sucks. We're gonna keep it and just hope we draw into something good. Let's play the Thicket and Skrelv. And Adeline's pretty good. Let's play our Plaza and we'll attack. of Tarkir. So that resolves. They're going to do two damage to Skrelv. Sure. And back to us. Let's play a Land War Wastes and Rod a Drawbrick. And we'll attack in for four. Kiri's Warcrafting is going to flip their, their, <laughs> their invasion, and they're going to get a Defiant Dreadmaw. Well, 
Let's play the caves. I think I want to play Rod a Drop Rick here. Yeah, let's go with that. We'll keep the old one. And we'll attack in four, six. Oh boy. Opponent's gonna trade their Thunder Maw. And we're gonna get two Adeline tokens. Brotherhood's End is gonna still get us a Rock of Drop Rick, and they're gonna play an Invasion. So that's gonna hit the AO most likely. Yep. Shale and Shaledred is the draw. Yeah, I think we just play Shelly here. And we'll get in for two. They're gonna play their own AO the Dawn Sky. And let's attack in for four. Alright, opponent's gonna block. So we get a mini Shaledrid, and then we can play our Get Rog after combat. So they get a Devastator and a Fable. Well, Lauren's pretty good here. Let's blow up the Fable. They lose two from Shelly. And play at Sushi. They're gonna attack for two. So I think it's a pretty free hit there. We don't really need to block. It's not gonna die this turn, and they can kill in one hit without sushi anyways. Let's gain some life. And we'll play the sh Shattered Sanctum. I think we just play our Thalia, and we'll attack in for two. We'll see if they want to trade the Atsushi. And opponent just concedes. GG's. Thank you everybody for watching. I appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.